Hello, everyone. Suana Chuck here uh, again to continue the uh, lessons uh, of the workbook of A Course of Miracles. So today we are on lesson 32, and I'm going to proceed with uh, reading the lesson. So the lesson is I have invented the world I see. And it says, today we are continuing to develop the theme of cause and effect. You are not the victim of the world you see because you invented it. You can give it up as easily as you made it up. You can see it or not see it as you wish. While you want, while you want it, you will see it. And when you no longer want it, it will not be there for you to see. The idea for today, like the preceding ones, applies to your inner and your outer worlds, which are actually the same. However, since you see them, see them as different, the practice periods for today will get, again include two phases, one involving the world you see outside you and the other world you see in your mind. In today's exercises, try to introduce the thought that both are in your own imagination. Again, we'll begin the practice periods Again, we will begin the practice periods for the morning and the evening by repeating the idea for today two or three times while looking around at the world you see as outside yourself. Then close your eyes and look around your inner world. Try to treat them both as equally as possible. Repeat the idea for today unhurriedly as often as you wish, as you watch the images, your imagination presents to your awareness. For the two longer practice periods, three to five minutes are recommended with not less than three required. More than five can be utilized if you find the exercise restful. To facilitate this, select a time when few distractions are anticipated and when you yourself feel reasonably ready. These exercises are also to be continued during the day as often as possible. The shorter applications consist of repeating the idea I have invented the world I see as you survey either your inner or outer world. It does not matter which you choose. The idea for today should also be applied immediately to any situation that may distress you. Apply the idea by telling yourself, I have, invent I have invented this situation as I see it. And the lesson is, I have, I have invented the world I see. So in a moment here, I'm going to, to do a reading from um, what's called, again, the workbook companion. Now, if you go into the uh, description below this YouTube video, you will see that I have placed a, um, uh, the title of this book and other references there for you to, to use. And I've used them occasionally throughout these videos. And um, I'm suggesting them because I know in my practice along the way, now again, I've been practicing this for a number of years, that um, I've, I've found these, uh, these books, that, again, that are the references below, um, that uh, have, have helped me to, um, expand and grow as I have uh, studied and practiced A Course in Miracles. 
So, um, you know, you come here, you listen um, to these videos and um, I share and give reflections myself. So um, all of it, all of it uh, has great value. And so with that being said, I'll continue on um, with regards to this here particular lesson. So, you know, again, it says, I've invented the world I see. And, you know, remembering what Gary Renard's quote is, is that the world, the world is not being done to you. It is actually being done by you. It's not coming at you. It's actually coming from you. And that's what the sense of this lesson is. So I'm going to now read the commentary from the workbook companion. And, it, and what it says here, if I'm not the victim of the world, what is my relationship to it? I, if I've, in, I've invented it, if I've invented it, if I made it up, how can I possibly be its victim? Now, saying that I've invented the world is a pretty, that's a pretty heavy statement. And saying that I can give it up as easily as I made it seems even more improbable. Yet, that is what the practice of the workbook is setting out to prove, to prove to us, not by rigorous logic, but through experiences that demonstrate that it is true. That's what miracles are. Miracles demonstrate that the world you see outside you and the world you see in your mind are both in your imagination. This lesson is simply introducing the idea, not trying to prove it. Now, the text of The Course of Miracles discusses the same thought in several of its places, several places within the text. And the most telling of them is, I'm quoting here from the text, what if you recognize this world, are you ready? It's a hallucination. What if you really understood you made it up? It isn't a concept, concept you can um, easily avoid if you study the course. The course insists on it. All that is really being asked here is that we open our minds to the idea that we have invented the world we see. It is a concept that can throw our minds into turmoil because it flies in the face of our fundamental beliefs about the world. Now, as we know, the world has a few nice things about it, but it also has a lot of, a lot of ugly junk. And being told that I am responsible for it, I made it up, doesn't sit easily with our minds. If it raises all kinds of questions in our mind, fine. Let the questions bubble up. For today, for their practice periods, just apply the idea as given. That's what has been suggested all along. Just apply the ideas. It's, it's okay. It really is okay if part of your mind is, is kibitzing about it in the background, saying to you that this is nuts. I don't really believe this. So the introduction uh, of the workbook warned us that, you know, that we might actively resist the ideas and it actually said whatever your reactions to the ideas may be to go ahead and use them nothing more than that is required so it may be difficult to see at first 
but we really only have two options. Either I or we made up the world or that I or we are, are the victim or are its victim, the victim of the world. So either we're the cause or the effect. And there aren't any other choices. Just think about it. Either I am the dreamer inventing the world's mess or I am part of somebody else's dream, maybe even God's. If I am not the cause, I am at the world's mercy. But if I am the cause, there's hope. I can change the dream and perhaps eventually stop dreaming altogether. When they talk about the dream here, the course refers to what we see in the world as an illusion. So just again, as it's said there over and over again, you know, to be able to examine your inner and your outer world. And um, again, you, you may not totally understand this, just do the lesson. And um, I'm gonna really, again, strongly suggest, do some journaling around this if you, you know, and um, you'll find that that would be really, will be really helpful uh, as you proceed with doing the lessons. So what else do I wanna say for today? I hope that commentary was helpful and um, just continue on. Uh, and again, uh, please um, like this video in YouTube. And um, if you're watching from Facebook as well or picking it up on Facebook, please like that as well. Um, please share and here on, on YouTube, uh, please subscribe so that the community of like-minded individuals that are practicing the Course of Miracles, that a community can be built here uh, on this channel. So, um, all right, that's it for lesson 32, which again is, I have invented the world I see. All right, see you in the next video for lesson 33. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.